in this video, we are going to learn about our Aroma Spots, one of our new diffusers. It's a vaporizing diffuser, and it uses ultrasonic waves to diffuse the oil and the vapor out into the air. When your new diffuser arrives, you'll be able to open it up. It's securely packaged in there so that it doesn't move around during shipment. We'll take this off. And it comes in the plastic with the directions right on top. And then underneath this white piece is the plug. We'll take the plastic wrap off. And then you'll also have your whole instruction manual that include all of your pieces that come with it and everything that you'll need to know while you're operating the diffuser. Once you get the diffuser, you can remove the top lid. And we'll set that right over here. And then we're going to open up the plug. The plug can go into any outlet, any wall outlet, or like I'm using a power strip so I can have it in a more convenient spot. You're also going to receive this little brush, and this is what you're going to use to clean out your diffuser. So if it starts to get built up a little, like with hard water, you can just use that little brush to wipe it out. You can open up the plug. And we can plug it right into here. It comes with quite a long plug, so you'll be able to plug it in a ways away. And then there's a little spot right here that you plug it right into, and it just fits perfectly right into there. Once you plug it in, then we can start by adding the water. You're going to add a, one half cup of water is how long the diffuser will hold, is how much water the diffuser will hold. There's a little bar in there that says max. You want to keep your water below the max line so that it'll diffuse. If you fill it over, then you won't see the vapor coming out. Once you get the water in, then you're going to add a few drops of your favorite essential oils. We're adding sweet orange right now, which is a favorite of mine. I'm going to add three drops right now. And you can add more if it's, you want it stronger or less if it's too strong. You can kind of play around with it and figure out what you want to do. Then I'll just put the lid on. It kind of fits any way you want, just securely on there. Once we've added the water and the oil, we'll put the lid securely on, and then we're going to turn on the mist function. You push the button once, and it'll start misting. It'll mist up to three hours continually, and then um, it will stop once it runs out of water. If you push the button a second time, then it'll run for 15 seconds, turn off for 15 seconds, and then run for 15 seconds. It'll keep alternating this intermittently for up to six hours. And then once you're ready to turn the mist off, you just push the button and the mist will turn off. Either way, it'll um, continue to run when you have it running until it runs out of water and then it shuts itself off. So you don't have to worry about it running when, it's not, when there's not water in it. The next function is the light button. If we push the button once, then it'll come on and it's going to change different colors of light. It goes from greens to blues, purples, yellows. It changes through a whole bunch of different lights. Once you find a light that you would like, all you would do is push that button again and then it'll keep that light on. So if I like purple, then I can just keep it purple and it'll stay that way. Once we push the button one more time, then it turns the light completely off. And you can run this unit by just having the lights going or just the mist going, or you can have both going at the same time. So while you are running the unit, um, there's a little vent that's right underneath it that you want to make sure you don't um, have anything in the way of that vent. But you will get some condensation on top of the unit and maybe on the table around where the unit is, so if you want a little towel that you'd like to put down to soak up some of that condensation, you can use like a thin dish towel. You don't want to use anything thick because it'll stop the vent from working and you won't get the mist. But just a thin dish towel will work great and that'll help gather up a lot of the condensation. This is an easy way to create your own aroma spa in your home can be calming and relaxing. You can put it in your kids' rooms. You can keep it in your room. You can have it anywhere in your house, and you can enjoy it anytime, anywhere. Order your Aroma Spa today.